Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Wednesday and we have a lot going on today. Today we are gonna, the uh, lady's gonna get her treatment. It's one of my favorite things. I love when, our, when the vets come or the massage therapist comes or the chiropractor comes are my favorite days. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing this morning. I already made muffins. These are muffins, blueberry muffins. Whenever I have these, the girls will eat them. If I just have them sitting here, the girls will eat them. If I don't have anything sitting here, they'll eat junk. But these are super easy for them to reach, so they go for that. So I made those. And then I'm gonna do my Bible reading. I'll show you what I do with this book. Um, but look at, I've been like trying to center my colors and making everything match. Because it's so aesthetic, like it's so aesthetically pleasing. But this never, I'm never organized enough to get everything in the same color, but I have been doing it and it just makes me so happy. So every single morning I read this book. It's not an actual Bible. I have a Bible and it's also pink, which I love. Um, but I read this every single morning. I spend five minutes, I spend five minutes a day, just me and God. And what I do is I read. So what I do is I read through the passages and then I highlight things that I feel like God wants me to remember. So then after I'm done this book, I'll go back and I'll read it. So then when I go back through it, I'll just read the highlighted parts and get the gist of what I'm supposed to remember. But anyway, it just grounds me and makes me, helps me smart, start my day off so much better. I believe that God puts everything in your path that you need to know to live the life that you're meant to live. So when I read these things, it honestly feels like God is just sending me a message. So today's message is that a thankful attitude opens windows of heaven. Spiritual blessings fall freely onto you through those openings into eternity. So basically it's saying that giving thanks opens up more opportunities for you to receive. It goes on to say that even in situations that are troubling, if you find, if you can find a thankful heart and be thankful in every situation, that it will open up even more opportunities for you to be thankful. But it's such a good point because how you feel is a mindset. Like it's so easy to just get angry or frustrated with a situation if something's not working out. But if you look at it with a different mindset, then it changes the whole experience for you. And that's something that has happened to me this last year. I think you guys have seen it ever since we moved to this house. I've had this huge, every year I have a huge transformation. Every year we all have a huge transformation, whether we pay attention to it or not. If you pay attention to it, you have the opportunity to guide that transformation. I wanted to be done hating stuff. It's so easy to hate stuff. Like I hate winter and I hate the cold and I hate the mud and I hate all of those things, but it's just so much easier if you just choose gratefulness instead so now I'm trying to look at winter as I'm trying to see winter in all of its beauty and all of its glory and just look at the positive parts of it like I love the snow and it has like an insulating effect like when you go outside and even it's freezing cold and the snow is there it kind of like has this cozy feeling and and it's a time of rest and it's a time to regain yourself and it's like there's just so much beauty in winter that I didn't ever see before but now that I've changed my mindset and I'm trying to be grateful for things it makes it so much easier. It changes your whole perspective. It can change you from an unhappy person to a happy person, and that is a huge deal. But anyway, enough with the Bible, because I don't know how many of you guys really believe in the Bible, or read the Bible, or are interested in, in spirituality. My girls definitely are not into it right now. Molly really wants somebody to play with that stick with her. You want me to throw it? <laughs> it's a big stick. All right. Get ready. Oh, don't land on anybody. <laughs> I'm still struggling with Kirby attacking Ellie. Not in a mean way, just in a playing way, the way that Ellie sometimes does to Ruby. But oh my gosh, you guys, is it ever gonna end? Because Ru Ellie still does it to Ruby on very rare occasions, but Kirby is terrible at it. And I'm the only one that stops her and corrects her and she knows not to do it because as soon as I like even, as soon as she even goes towards Ellie, <laughs> when I'm with her, she, she looks at me. But look, hey, Ellie, uh, Ellie, sit, oh, wait. <laughs> she had a hat on, it was a leaf. I tell Sam to correct her when she does it, but one, Ellie is not usually with Kirby when Sam's with her. And two, he's just not that kind of a guy. He's not the kind of a guy to like, constantly watch and make sure if that makes sense. She's just about eight months old, almost eight months old, like in the next week. 
probably around eight months old, so she's still pretty young. And Ellie is two this week. Ellie, it's almost your birthday. Yeah, it's her birthday almost, you guys. So I was watching the goats on the camera this morning. I watch them all the time in the morning because, anyways, I saw a comment saying that the boy pig is a lot thinner than the girl pig, and that is true. They're totally different breeds, totally different breeds. She's a pot belly pig, and he's an American miniature pig. So they have different body structures, and she's gonna get all her weight in her belly and in her jowls because that's what a pot belly pig looks like. All right, I'm gonna lock the dogs in here. Pray for me. Wow, they really listen to me a lot better than Sam. Ellie can get underneath the fence if she needs to get away. But anyways, so this was his weight when I got him. He's a good weight, he's a healthy weight. He's a really healthy weight. This is a perfect weight for a pig. With pigs, you have to be really, really careful. You have to be really careful with pigs that they don't get overweight. And I know Posey looks like she's overweight, but she's not, she just, that's her breed. She's on the border though, I watch her weight all the time. But, when he first moved here, he's really in rut, you guys. Don't. <laughs> no! Um, stop. <laughs> Anyways, when I first got him, he was this weight, maybe even a little bit less. And I was able to, to pump him up and get him like a little bit chubbier. And actually, looking at him now, he looks really good. So, no. 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 There's none of that. Gracie's like, come to me, come to me. Recently, he lost a little bit of weight, which is fine, because he's still in a really good range. And I'm gonna show you guys why and how. I've had to like pump his feet up to like three times what he normally gets. No pig needs that much food except for him, and this is why. He's in rut. <laughs> he's in rut, that means he wants to breed posy. And all he does all day, I watch him on the camera, and he runs up and down here. Look at, this is why it looks like this. See how much of a mess he made? Yep, he did that. It's all him because he wants to breed and he runs it. He doesn't just walk it, he runs. Like, literally runs. <laughs> Look at Ellie's like, she could be in here if she wanted to, but she's back there. She's sitting with the dogs. So that's why his weight's a little bit less than hers, but he's still really healthy and looks really good. Get out. But also, I wanted to show you guys one more thing pig related. Do you guys remember when we first got the goats, this whole pasture, this whole area was all weeds and stuff? Hi baby. It was all weeds. The girl goats on the camera, when I was watching the camera today, the girl goats, they were all sleeping. Yep, that's what they do, they sleep. Anyway, back to my other story. I'm sorry, I'm a jumper. I'm a conversation jumper. This field was all weeds. So many weeds, and the worst were these thistle things. And every one of our rocks, these big rocks, were covered with these thistle things, which actually kind of are fun for pictures. <laughs> They're like, are you bringing us food? Anyway, <laughs> I should have brought my camera and, and took pictures of you, because you guys are looking so cute. And then there's Posy Pig between my feet. Oh, the, oh, the Kirby got through. Isn't that crazy? She figured out how to get in here. <laughs> She's a smart one. She's so smart. <laughs> she is a her herding dog for sure. Like Molly is not, she doesn't even try. Uh oh. <laughs> They're really running. Just the brave one standing <laughs> here with me. Anyways. Oh, and then there's Honey, she's all mad now because the dog, don't even try it. Oh my gosh, this is chaos. Dogs are like the worst chaos. Look, oh, don't go back in there. I wouldn't do it. Good job. Oh, look at she's, oh, she's, oh my gosh, she's in the horse field. What a dumb dog. I just said she's so smart. But anyways, my point is this, even though there are still a few weeds around these rocks, I mean, there were millions. But now, a lot of these rocks are completely free of weeds. Like, there are no weeds. And you can see <laughs> all around has been kind of aerated. 
but all the weeds are gone and it looks really nice. That one over there, no weeds. So which one of these animals do you think did it? Comment below, quick, before I reveal. It was her. Uh-oh, dog is getting everybody riled up. Oh my gosh, don't run, you're pregnant! Wow. <laughs> everybody is running like crazy. <laughs> it's okay, yeah. It's just a puppy. Now I gotta go in here. <sighs> Kirby is literally on the bad girl list. <laughs> She's causing problems everywhere. And now she says, oh, I've been here this whole time, Laura. I've just been <laughs> here. Oh no. So to finish up all the stories that I started telling. One, the pig is thinner than Posey because he's a different breed and because he's exercising continually all day long. Two, Kirby is a devil, but it works out well because Sam really wanted to take Molly to teach her to like herd. And now he can do it with his very own dog because he's actually gonna have to do it now. He's gonna have to do something with her. Hopefully he does agility. He used to do agility with his old dog. So he loves that dog. So that is actually a good thing. And lastly, pigs are so good at clearing debris from your property. They're so good at digging up roots and old trees and branches and stuff and, and weeds that you don't want. Way better than goats. All right guys, we are up and at it. It's only five o'clock. I hate when it gets dark so soon. Ladies, we got the massage or chiropractor, or whatever it is coming to do. A lady, give her a massage. And ladies in, getting all brushed. She's already brushed. You got these over there in a blankie. My blankie. And I'm doing chores. We do chores at night now before we put the horses in depending what we're doing during the day. On the weekends it gets done in the morning. So I do it in the morning but I'm too busy in the morning so somebody's been slacking in the grain department. Past couple mornings I've been busy okay, well. looking at Storm's grain bucket going what the heck you think she's like Gracie or something. Gabby's all covered up. Do we have another blanket out here? Gabby's all covered up in my blankie. Yeah, I'm just gonna be in the room. It's, it's dark in here. It's dark. It's dark in here. It's not that cold in here, man. It's not that cold. So it'll be cold too. I've been cold. Doing chores and the minis are here. The minis. Hey. Hey, I don't trust you. Look, see, she was going to try and kick me. See you later. It's not dinner time yet. It's not dinner time yet, Willow. Still got to clean. Still have to clean the stalls. All right, so it is late. It's late and massage service is gone. She said that lady was fabulous. She said she wasn't tight. She wasn't... She didn't have any issues. She said she would have thought that she would have more issues. She didn't have any issues. She said she was really good. Oh, that's good. And there's Lady in her stall, in her nice, big, tall, long stall that she stole from Storm. Poor Storm. <laughs> He's like, she stole my stall. Anyway, she said that she loved Lady. Like, she loved Lady. She saw her at the sale and would have bought her if she was in the market for another horse. She said that so much she liked her. I love you too. <laughs> That's because I have gum. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Kissing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Kissing. Horses is gross. It smells like grass. You know, she's not, I guess it smells like hay. I feel like that's like a dog begging for a treat. That was her begging me. That's my favorite thing about her. That's so funny because the massage lady was in here like visiting all the horses and I was trying to show her that Penny kisses and Penny was like, what are you talking about kisses? I don't do anything like that. And she wouldn't even look at me. And then literally the lady leaves and I come over and I don't even have a treat and she just starts kissing me. 
<laughs> you didn't do it. You have to kiss me. I love you. <laughs> She's so cute. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the